An approachable dog will appear relaxed. There should be no obvious tension on any part of their body. The eyes should be soft and seeking eye contact. The mouth should be slightly open and breathing should be normal. The dog's ears should be in a natural position. Obviously, this is gonna be different depending on the breed. Finally, as you might have guessed, an approachable dog will have a wagging tail, or at least a tail that is in a comfortable position. So here's what you don't want to see. An anxious dog will appear very tense. They tend to be very stiff. Oftentimes they'll have their hackles raised. You may even see them lift their paw up off the ground. The eyes will look cold and concerned. Sometimes they'll even have dilated pupils. You might also observe a behavior that we call a whale eye. A whale eye is when a dog's looking at you out of the corner of their eye, and that's usually a warning sign. An anxious dog's mouth is typically clenched shut. Oftentimes their lips are puckered. It almost looks like they're getting ready to say something. Or on the flip side, if their mouth is open, usually the corners of their mouth are pulled back. You can see a couple of folds around it. This also can be accompanied by them drooling and doing a lot of panting. The ears are one of the most reliable indicators of a dog's mood. Ears that are pinned backwards are almost always a signal of stress, while ears that are pushed forward are often an indicator of aggression. It's best to stay away if you observe either of these occurring. Finally, when it comes to the tail, you don't want to see stiffness. An anxious or aggressive dog will often tuck its tail in between its legs or hold it straight up in the air. Oftentimes, you'll see a fast wagging tail. That's not usually a dog wanting to say hi. That fast tail wag is usually the dog letting you know that they are very uncomfortable. Here's a quick list of tips to practice a safer interaction. Don't rush in with a loud voice or quick movements. Do approach slowly using a relaxed pace. Don't stick your hand in the dog's face. Do ask the owner if you can pet the dog. May I please pet your dog? Yes, please do. Don't look the dog in the eye. Do use your peripheral vision to watch the pet. Don't lean or loom over the dog. Do stand outside the dog's space. For small dogs, you can crouch outside their space presenting your side. Don't pet the dog unless the dog approaches you for petting. Do use gentle pets. Don't hug or squeeze the dog or mess with the dog's ears, tail, or other sensitive body parts. If you follow these tips, then things should go smoothly with your next encounter with the dog.